Hi everyone, this is Brie from Let's Talk Teens and today's how-to video is all about how to set up privacy settings and safety settings on your child's Mac. So we are talking about their desktop computer, their laptop, um, it's also very similar on a device as well. Uh, there's other how-tos at letstalkteens.com on how to set up their phones or their iPads. But uh, we're gonna go into the laptop right now. I'm gonna go to the top at the little Apple and you're gonna go to System Preferences. What you wanna do now is find the little lady <laughs> and her child, Parental Controls. Thank you for that graphic, Mac. Oh, it's a man, oops, or a person. It's man or woman person. Okay, great. So then you're gonna have to log in. Um, here we go, don't look at my password. Okay, so there we go. Does the little cha-ching. And you wanna click this so you can manage it yourself um, all, from any device and things like that. This is the settings for the guest user, but what you can do is set it up specifically so you know who's on per child. I have four kids and they range in age from two all the way up to 18. And so they're going to have to have different logins and not know each other's logins because the settings will be really different. So for the little ones, I don't, you know, I just do it for them. And um, for the bigger ones, I don't tell them what the other people's passwords are. So. Um, let's do one of my kiddos, and she is six years old. Let's do the eight-year-old, because I know the eight-year-old, our eight-year-olds are online already. They're wanting to be on YouTube. They're wanting to have a channel. So let's do my eight-year-old, um, Ash. Um, we'll just call it Ash, and um, I'm gonna make up a password. Let's see, I'm gonna change it later. Um, okay, there's my password. You wanna make it way more uh <laughs> way harder to figure out and um let's just do my hint is numbers okay create user so now for ash there he is a little rose probably change that icon later but <laughs> there's that and so you can start to comb through these settings allow use of camera yes i can do that allow joining gaming center with multiple players i actually for me personally, do not let him do that. Um, I don't want him talking to strangers um, and it, as an eight-year-old. He's not ready for that. And cyber stranger danger and all of that. Um, but there's also different things that you can filter within the gaming that you can do if you feel comfortable with that so that they can only add friends, people, contacts that they know personally. Um, if you don't want them to be on email, you can limit that as well. And then this is good, you limit applications on this Mac. So you only allow what you have uploaded to be accesses by the, accessed by this account. So these are all great settings. You go into the web, I definitely re recommend this. There's how-to videos on letstalkteens.com that go through how to set up Google searches in both Chrome and Safari. So I recommend looking into that. But first, you want to set up safeties here on the device itself, on the computer itself, because that's going to have the first safety net. And then the next one would be Google because they don't always uh, filter out all of the negative content that you don't want your child to see. So you need to set up multiple safeties. As you can see, it says try to. <laughs> I don't know, you know, if you caught that, but it says try to limit access to adult websites. So it's definitely not guaranteed. Even when I did the how-to video on how to set up Google searches to filter, I did a little test and it did not filter what I was testing. And so, um, which was topless, it didn't filter that. So it has its own mind and decides what it thinks it's okay for your child. So it's important to, um, safety is first here on the computer so what you can do for my eight-year-old I will put in what websites are okay for him to go to because he's not ready to look at X Y and Z um, maybe for my 18 year old I will go and do the try to limit access to adult website um, and I will not be putting in the allow unrestricted access to any of my kids. So 
Um, these are just settings that you can do depending on your child's age and what you feel is appropriate. Stores, these are also really, really good. What apps, what age, I'll do nine plus for him. TV shows, I will do PG for him. You know, whatever you feel is okay for your child. Um, time, this is also really, really great. Look, built in, people are always asking me, what do I do, what tools can I use to limit my child's screen time? Here you go, it's right here on the operating system. Privacy, manage privacy. Um, you can just decide what you think is okay. Twitter, I'm not gonna have my eight-year-old on Twitter. I'm not gonna have him on Facebook. Um, so just making sure that that is working for your family. So Siri dictation can be a problem, just so you know. Um, So Siri dictation may be an issue. I have had my six-year-old have Siri cuss at her because she was trying to say stop it and it said F you, the full word. So um, Siri does cuss, she's a cusser, so <laughs> it may be a good idea for say my six-year-old, I would turn off Siri dictation. Um, you know, so you can just go through all these different settings and let us know if you have any questions I would love to read your comments below. Email me anytime at hello at letstalkteens.com. And don't forget to join our community at letstalkteens.com. We have lots of resources. We give out uh, updates every single week with new resources and expert advice from counselors and parents and teachers and teens and tweens. So we'd love for you to join. And for more tips and tools, don't forget to check out the workshop if you haven't already letstalkteens.com slash workshops thank you all check out the other videos to make sure all of your safeties are set up to keep our kids safe on this worldwide web that they're living in have a great day